Hi, my name is Sandra Rogers, and I am the gray cat avatar that you see in front of you. And I've made friends with this dog, and we're sitting in front of a chapel. The fun thing about Second Life is you can say things like open sesame. All right. So I'm going to take you on a little screencast tour of Second Life, and I'm in the Milkwood Riders Colony in Showcase. So let's change the view here so I can see where I'm going. All right, so my cat would go exploring. All right, now this bird has a, a fish and the cat might want to try to take it away from the bird. Just like cats sometimes do, they act sly before they actually go for something. This cat can also play with its food or with the bird. All right, and then the cat would go off to take a nap. Then you want to get up close so you can gauge the viewer with the image. All right, I'm going to stop now and then we'll go into Camtasia 2 for editing. Hi, this is Sandra again. So now I'm going to do a screencast of a screencast. So what you see here is um, Camtasia 2, which is again for uh, the Mac. And this is the interface. So t this area right here is the storyboard. And then below here you see the timeline. And then we have our menu of media uh, when you want to upload your media like um, uh, images and video. And then we have the annotations for bringing in the title slide and clips or any transition slides that you want to add some notes. And then the transitions are when we fade in and fade out and different animations if you want to add um, actions to your um, images as they come in and out. And then we can also fix the video, audio, and your cursor. For example, if you wanted to make your cursor invisible, you could. All right, so this here is called the playhead, and basically you can move it around to find a location, as well as right here. So I'm just going to play this a little bit so you'll see the beginning. Hi, my name is Sandra Rogers. Okay, and then you click here to get back to the very beginning. Of course, this is uh, forward and backwards, but this is the very beginning and this is ending. So that's it helps instead of having to just click click through the, <laughs> to find the beginning. Now, at the beginning, we would want to add a title slide. So let's get um, an annotation. And now here are the, the colors. You can change them. So basically you're going to grab it and slide it over in front and then drag it to the shape of the... probably should drag from here. There we go. All right, and then you click on the font and you can change the color. Let's call this um, basic screencasting. All right. And then what we can do to make it exciting is you can bring in another um, annotation, as they say, and add it over here. And this is, you could change, of course, change the size. And this is for Camtasia. All right. Now, this is your annotations. You'll see them in the timeline here. Let's see what the properties are. Right, so now we have our like a rich text editor that you could develop. Let's say, for example, um, white on yellow is not a uh, strong enough color contrast. So let's have the font be black on yellow, and the same for white on orange. Um, I'll say black, and I actually want to bring this out a little bit bigger. And you can move this. You can move this. The alignment here. You can see the alignment, it's trying to center it. So I want it over to the left. 
and I want it in the top of the corner and that will give us more space for the bottom and then this one we can move over to the corner and I want this to be bold you know for some reason they've put bold over here under text I know to find that easily there all right and then you want to file and save now right now I have it as um, Camtasia Studio for Mac and this is a dot cm proj um, so that you know that when you're looking for these uh, it's saving it as a Camtasia Studio project uh, you sometimes you hear people say the cam proj as the uh, file extension now you have just created a title slide and you can do the same to create it at the end uh, your uh, credit slide to give credit to whoever um, performed, the actors, the musicians, etc. So now we have, um, as I said down here in the timeline, you can move this to the end. You'll see right at five, it's about that title slide. Generally when you add the annotations, they're about five seconds. But you may, your video may have started, so you need to move this video over so that it's at the beginning here. All right. Now, another thing that we would want to add to the title slide um, is some transitions. You want it to transition in and out so that it can, um, I like to have it fade. Let's click on transitions here and fade in, fade out. And so what, again, what you do is you drag it and drop it here. And that will make the transition for the slide, but also for that other transition as well, because you want them both to, to uh, fade in and out. Otherwise, you'll end up with an image like this where the, it's still there um, and hasn't faded out. All right, so this must mean that I need to move this over just a little bit. And get to the um, right here at the ending of the um, slide, then we'll make sure that then we can make this line up so that you don't have that where the annotation is on top of your video. So the next thing that we would do is add some music. So file, import media, and I'm going to go to my music. Okay. Now, the, this body move, I got this music from gemendo.com, which will allow you to download music if you set up an account, and they have uh, lots of free background music, um, as well as fee-based. So we have, now we're going to have another audio track, and so I'm going to bring this down. Right here. And you can see that it's a long track and we just move it over. We do not need that long um, music unless you want to have the background the whole time. So just a little in intro music so I can see that I only need this mount. And I was going to show you that you can um, increase the size here and this will expand the timeline so that you can see how to do this. And we see that we only need um, this five seconds of music and so what you can do is, and you bring, oh, first you would lock these other items, so you don't want to uh, remove them. And you don't want to mess with your audio either. We can lock that up. So we uh, just want to be able to, there's a little icon for a lock here. So again, um, you select it, you can see that it's highlighted in blue, like if I selected this, this would be in blue. But you highlight here in blue, and then you hit the control, move it over to the area where you would like to splice it, and you go for edit. Then you would split the selection at the playhead. Now that makes it easy if you, you know, you want to keep this section, but on the right hand side you select delete and it will remove it. And then since you've done that, you want to make sure, uh, of course, to save at all times. So I'm going to save. All right, for this last section, I wanted to show you how to edit the video. It's the simplest task, 
and basically you find an area that you would like to remove like perhaps um, I found this section where the saving where you have the blue progress bar going across so you would just go select it with the playhead first you would on a Mac you hold the shift key and then the trackpad button and then you slide this over to highlight the area that you would like to remove now again if there's some audio maybe you wouldn't want to uh, remove that part so let's hear what we would be removing okay so I am saying something here and so to unselect it you just click off of the uh, space in the black background and then okay let's um, select another area so shift trackpad button and then slide this over all right let's play it before we edit that okay that was a silent area we can remove that easily so we go to edit ripple cut and it will cut it out all right now when you're finished as I have you would want to add an annotation at the end to give um, the credits and again just drag that over to fit the screen and give your credits now to save time I'm not going to walk you through that part right now since you already know how to do that so you would uh, I was just going to show you uh, the last bit to share your product with others is to export and this is how you'll get your mp4 and then you would export it um, and mine is saying uh, I already have one so I don't want to do it yet I'm not ready but that should be it so I'll cancel out alright thank you very much and good luck with your machinima bye bye